Good morning, Pattern. I'm going to remind you of some of the writing frames, especially the pop-up ones, that we've used in school before so that you can make them at home and use them during your home learning. So what you will need is a piece of rectangular paper. It doesn't matter what colour, it doesn't matter what size, A4, A3, something in between. So what you're going to do is get your piece of rectangular paper, I've got A4, and you're going to fold it in half long ways. To be as accurate as possible, match up the two sides and then make your crease from the middle down. Then sharpen that crease up with a thumbnail, lollipop stick, back of a spoon, whatever. And just to make sure mine is really, really sharp, and then fold it back the other way as well. Okay, so now you have this. And to lay that down in front of me so you can see it, what I'm then going to do is put the diagonally opposite corners together. So I'm going to take this back one and I'm going to roll it over towards this one at the front there. And once those corners are matching, I will have a loop here, which I'm going to carefully flatten down. You will then have is a folded over half of the paper slightly diagonally that looks like a pair of trousers okay now i'm going to open that up again and you'll see that the fold is down the center and also looks a little bit like an arrow in the middle what we're now going to do is fold the paper downwards from the top this is the slightly more tricky part and we're going to use those arrow shaped folds that we have before like that okay so it doesn't go totally in half but these folds along the top now allow us to close that piece of paper so that we have that pair of trousers shape again but this time they're folded into each other so it opens here like that and we've got this part here now this is what I'm going to use for my pop-up so I'm going to cut off the spare bit that's sticking out of the quadrilateral shape here the fold is on this side here okay so I'm going to cut this bit that's sticking out at the end here using a pair of scissors there we are there, got rid of those and now I just have that quadrilateral with the fold here that opens up like this so you have the pop up in the middle if I put that flat this is where you would do your writing this is where your illustration would happen not on this part but on the pop up part so this could be a birthday card, could be a fairy tale setting with the story here. I think I'm going to put a tower and some woods onto mine. So I'm going to take a pencil and very, very quickly, just to sketch to show you what I mean, I'm going to put the fir trees in place on either side because it's going to be a forest setting. And I'm going to put the tower in the middle here. There we are. Right. And I think I might have a window in the middle of my tower. Right. Very, very, very quick sketch that I've done onto here. Okay. And I'm just going to start to cut it so you can see how you don't have to leave this pop-up, this triangular shape. You can adapt it to whatever you want. So, first of all, I'm going to form the top of my tower carefully. There we are. Sorry, I'll put this down and then it won't be covering my face. Right, there we are. So I've already formed the first part, which is the top of the tower. And now I'm going to start to add in just the shape 
of the tops of the trees as well down at the side so that's the first side done so we've got the tower and then a tree starting to appear here and the same on the other side would also look really good as a cutout of a cityscape somewhere like New York if you wanted to do a setting somewhere else in the world right there we are and then let's just start to cut out the side of the trees there okay so very quickly done but now you can see when you unfold your pop-up we've got a castle and some trees appearing and last of all which is the trickiest bit you'll probably want a grown-up to help you with this i'm just going to cut out the window on the tower there we are so now i have a cut out on the pop-up i look forward to seeing what you make 